please stop being sad, Pauzalind. Are you kidding me? I already look happier than I am. You try being happy when your father is banished to the wilderness. Well, I guess you don't love me as much as I love you. If my father was banished, I would still be happy because I had you. You would do the same if your love for me was true. Well, I guess I'll try to forget about my difficulties. I am an only child, and when my father dies, I will give you all his fortune. So please, my sweet Pauzaland, be happy. From now on, I will think of other things we could do. What do you think about falling in love? We could have a good laugh about it, but don't fall in love for real. Then what can we do for fun? We can mock Fortune until she gives me gifts more evenly. Fortune is indeed unfair and gives gifts to the wrong people. Fortune is especially hard on women. Well, I think those gifts are given by nature. Celia, your father wants you. Are you the messenger? They told me to come get you. Here comes Monsieur Lebou. You missed a sport. What kind of sport? Well, I came to tell you that a cat fight is going on, and you are missing it. Tell us about this cat fight. I'll tell you the beginning, and if you think this is interesting, I'm sure you know the outcome of this cat fight. They're gonna host it right here. Oh well, we missed the beginning. There's a cat with three sons. This sounds like a beginning of a story. The sons are proper and quite good looking. Charles, the Duke's cat fighter, broke all of their tails and they died shortly after. Oh my, now really, what sport are they missing? The, the, the one I just told you about? Well, this is the first time I heard of tail breaking for entertainment for ladies. Me too. Am I the only one that wants to see this cat fight? Let's go, Celia. They are having it right here. Yes, let's go watch them. The youth can't be reasoned with, so he will have to suffer for his stubbornness. Who is that cat? He seems young, like a kitten. Hello, daughter and niece. Have you snuck to see the cat fight? If you give us permission... You won't enjoy it very much. This cat is practically a kitten, and he won't listen to me. Perhaps you can persuade him not to fight. If he fights Charles, it will surely be a catastrophe. Call him over here, Monsieur Lebou. Go ahead. I'll be over there. Challenger, the princesses want to speak to you. I'll wait on them with all respect and duty. Young cat, did you challenge Charles? No, princess. I have come to fight him with my youth. You are bold for your age. You have seen this cat's strength. If you thought about this more carefully, you would act more cautiously. We beg you to respect yourself and give up. Please, sir, we'll make sure your reputation isn't hurt. I beg you not to think poorly of me. Please send me good thoughts in this match. If I am beaten, the shame is mine. If I am killed, it will be a death of a man who was willing to be dead. In this world, I'm only taking up space. Maybe when I'm gone, someone more worthy can fill it. I wish I could give you all the strength I have, which isn't much. Me too. Good luck. I hope I'm wrong about your chances. I hope you're getting the outcome you desire. Come on, where's the young cat that wants to be buried? Ready, sir. You get one round. No, I'm sure you won't be able to discourage him from doing the second round, just like you couldn't dissuade him from doing the first. Mock me after you've beaten me, not before. May Hercules give you speed, young cat. I wish I was invisible so I could grab Charles by the ear. Excellent cat! If I could shoot lightning bolts from my eyes, I can tell you who would be on the ground. <laughs> no more, no more. Come on, I'm barely out of breath. How are you, Charles? 
He can't speak, my lord. Carry him away. What's your name, young cat? Meowlando, my lord. Youngest cat of Sir Rowland Dickcats. I wish you were someone else's child. Every cat thought your father was honorable, but he was always my enemy. Good luck, brave cat. I wish you told me you had a different father. Cousin, if I was my father, would I do this? I am proud to be Sir Rowland's son. I would never change that, not even to be Frederick's son. My father loved Sir Rowland as much as he loved himself. If I had known this young cat was his son, I would have tried harder to convince him not to fight. Gentle cousin, let's thank him. My father's envious behavior is like a knife through my heart. Sir, you fought well. Wear this for me. I am down on my luck, and I would give more if I could. Shall we go, cousin? Can't I even say thank you? I think I left my brain back at the fight. He's calling us back. I'll ask him what he wants. Sir, did you call us? You fought well and conquered more than just your enemies. Will you come, cousin? Well, I guess this is for well. What is this passion that has tied my tongue? I can't even speak to her. Oh, I've been overthrown. I advise you to leave. Even though you deserve praise, Zezuk is temperamental. I am sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Thank you, sir. Can you please tell me which one of the ladies who was at the fight is the Duke's daughter? None of them are based on their good manners, but really, the smaller one is his daughter. The other is the daughter of the banished Duke. Duke Frederick keeps her here for his daughter, but lately he's been displeased with her because so many cats beat her. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Later, in a world better than this, I'd love to get to know you. I'm in debt to you. Goodbye. From a tyrant duke to a tyrant brother. Oh, that heavenly Pauseland.